How's everybody doing? My name is Jennifer Nicole Breckheisen, and I am back from maternity leave, finally. Um, so today's video, we are actually going to be doing a video with my baby Titus, who is two months old now. Um, so I am going to be showing you guys how to add video to your newborn photography. This is a much, this is a highly requested video. So we're going to be talking about why we want to add some video to our photography. Um, how we're going to add video to the photography, and we're also going to talk about equipment that we use. So let's just jump right into the video. So adding video to your newborn photography sessions, um, if you add little clips that can equal one to two minutes, you can create a highlight reel for your clients. And you can actually sell this in addition to the photography. Now, you don't want to be bogged down with trying to figure out settings and all this kind of stuff. You wanna focus on your photography, and then if you can get some clips, get them. So make sure and practice in your own time so your clients are not even expecting a video and then you can upload it to YouTube and say, hey, you've got 24 hours to watch this video. Um, if you'd like to purchase it, you can do so here. Or however you wanna do the logistics of that whole thing is up to you. I can explain in another video how I actually do it. But today, we're gonna to focus on those three things. The why, the how, um, I actually how to actually film it, and then the equipment that I use. So you could actually potentially make an extra couple hundred dollars on just adding little video clips and then you just set them to music you put them together you put some nice transitions in there and then you have a beautiful artistic medley of video and photo for your clients the equipment that i'm using today is the godox sl 100 light and i am using it at 5500 or 5600 kelvin whichever it actually goes to um, because I want it to match the daylight. So if I want to open windows, then it will actually match the sunlight. I turn all the other lights off in the house and you can actually use a reflector if you need to reflect some light back on. The Godox SL100 is very cheap. I will put a link down below and I actually use the P90H um, softbox and it's, uh, I think it's $100 by itself. But if you are going to do video and you want to use the softbox, you definitely use you definitely need to use one that will accommodate the high heat that the lights can get to. I am using the Z6 camera um, to actually film and photograph the baby, and I'm using the Z7 to film myself with and what I'm gonna be filming the behind the scenes with right now. I am using the 70, no 7200, um, the 24 to 70, and this is the 24 to 70 2.8, 2.8, because it works really well with the video along with the photography. So, I love being able to zoom in and out, even though I predominantly use prime lenses for other types of photography. As I said, I'm using the Nikon Z6 camera. It is very well priced. I've seen that the Z5 has now come out, which I think would also, if you're just starting your business, would be another great, would, that would be a great camera to start your business with actually. Okay guys, so here's my setup. I have the Godox SL100, um, light and it's on about 20 to 25 percent and i have it at five uh, 5500 kelvin whatever or it might go up to 5600 whichever it goes up to because i want to keep it and match it to um the actual sunlight or daylight and i have all the lights in the room off except for that one so you can see on the bottom there is my little um backdrop that i'm going to have for the baby and that's really the only space that I need when I go into someone's house. So that's my lighting setup and this is what's going on here. So right now we are in a room, I have no other lights on and I have all the windows closed so I can get a little bit more harshness since we're gonna do like a black and white type thing. All right guys, so Titus just ate again. <laughs> um, he is an eater. He has gained so much weight. Anyway, so we are going to start with his feet as he is calming back down. And uh, so photo wise, I am using uh, F2.8 ISO 800 1 250th of a second. 
We're just going to get little ones of his feet. Okay, and then I'm going to switch to video mode. Now I am going to hold my hands as steady as possible with video mode. And I am using F3.2, ISO 320, and 50th of a second. Um, now when it comes to your settings for video, I'm going to show you right here. I just want to finish recording this little bit. I'm just going to be as steady as possible. Okay. So when it comes to your settings, um, you will want to go into the I function here. I keep the focus mode at AFF and um, here we go. When it comes to your frame size and rate and image quality, you're going to want to go to your menu. You go into, okay, so you go to your camera up there, your video camera, you go to frame size, frame rate, and then I am over here. Now I'm not going to go into the actual quality of the videos that will be saved for a different video, but whatever your frame rate is, so if you choose 24p, then your shutter speed needs to be twice that. So if you choose 30p, then you need to use 1 60th of a second. 24p, I'm going to use 1 50th of a second. So back down here, you'll see that that is, I'm going to say at 1 50th of a second. Um, that's just to get the best quality out of your video. I am using an aperture of 3.2 and an ISO of 320 for this video. Um, another setting I wanted to show you guys was the AF area mode. Um, I am using single point and the reason I'm doing that is so that let's say I want to focus on his feet here and I want to go closer and further away. It's going to continue to focus on the point that I selected to make sure that is going to stay in focus the whole time or it's going to try, the camera's going to try and keep that point in focus the whole time as to what um, it's going to auto focus on. So if you want to go into slow motion, you go to frame size, frame rate, and then you just scroll down till you get to the slow motion. And then you click that. And what it's going to do is when you go to your camera, it's going to change your shutter speed for you. But if you want to go back to 24 P, you're going to want to change your shutter speed down to 1 50th of a second. It will not change it for you to go back to regular. We're going to go to 24p and we're going to take our shutter speed to 1 50th because you want it to be twice what your frame rate is and that means we've got to go back down. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, I'm going to record. You're going to go back down on the ISO. Okay. And I just changed that. Okay. Um, There we go, because I was hitting this, the record button, it was changing my shutter speed. So make sure and hit your ISO button and not your record button. <laughs> um, so yeah, you're going to want to change your ISO and your shutter speed as you go back and forth from slow-mo to regular recording. Now since he's older, um, it's going to be harder for him to, he's not going to sleep through this. So we just get what we get with this type of thing. So one of the things that I like to do is to actually film and shoot from different angles. Now that we have our settings in, all we have to do is click our switch back and forth from photo to video. And of course, to actually record the video, you just hit this button, the red, okay, you can't even see that, the red button. And then to turn it off, you hit it again. So let's do a little bit of video. 
I just hold my hands as steady as possible. Like, don't do it yet. I'm trying to fix it. Oh, move that, please, bud. Why? Because. But look. I don't want it on the in the video, okay? Okay. You basically just want to get the child doing what it does, moving around. It, well, if it's a newborn, it's just going to be moving his eyes around and his mouth, which is going to be really cute. Mommy? Mm. Yes, bud? Does it look like a baby? Yeah, it does. Like that one? Yeah, it does. Here, take his patsy out of his mouth, okay? Because... Wait, 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 not right yet, not right yet. Let's let him look over here. Okay, now take his patsy out. Hey, Titus. <gasps> hey, my babe. Hey, my babe. Come over here, Paulo. So he looks over here. Come over here, right here. Why? So he looks. Hey, my babe. Hey, my babe. Hey, my Titus, look at my babe. Hey. Look at this teddy bear, Mommy. Look. Look at this teddy bear. Mm hmm. He's holding on to it. I can't think of a boots. He's not too big. Mommy, he's. I want to touch his baby. Look. Mm hmm. No reason to be scared, bud. But it's a thunder, nigga. You see? Hey. Hey, my babe. You gonna smile for mommy? Are you gonna smile? Huh? Are you gonna smile? some video. You can also sweep from head to toe or toe to head. You ran your motorcycle? Take pictures of that too, huh? Yes. Yes. You ran your motorcycle. So then, you know, as you take pictures from different angles, then you also take video from different angles too. Hey, my babe. Hey, is he smiling?
Let me change the video. So you just go back and forth um, as much as you can. And then we might want to go into slow-mo mode like I showed you. When you go from slow-mo to regular video, then you're going to want to change your ISO because your shutter speed has changed. I'm going to do another sweep. I want to do some close ups of the face and the eyes. Do close ups of the hands. <laughs> and close ups of the feet. And that's really it guys. So thank you so much for watching this video today, guys. If you liked what you saw or if you learned something, please consider subscribing and also sharing is caring guys. Share this video with a photographer near you and I will see you guys next time.